Today is going to be a short work day uh, around the farm. Uh, we've got the uh, biggest football game in the nation playing this afternoon. Starts at 2:30. Uh, Auburn's playing Alabama, so we want to make sure and and uh, be inside in time for that. So uh, today we're just going to cut some limbs uh, to feed the goats and get those limbs in and do a head count, uh, and then start moving in toward uh, toward the TV to make sure we don't uh, miss any of the iron bowl. In, in addition to being a goat farmer and a hay farmer, uh, I'm also a privet farmer. Uh, the goats love to eat the privet and so uh, usually what I'll do uh, every year is come through and try to cut uh, privet for them to eat in addition to hay or grain and uh, I try to leave some standing in places for the next uh, year but uh, it often turns into an every other year harvest. Uh, harvest some here this year, uh, harvest some on another side of the property uh, the next year and allow, uh, allow it to grow back in between. And uh, it's kind of a re renewable resource uh, that I don't have to necessarily uh, fertilize uh, and I don't have to worry about anybody's uh, uh, animals getting out and uh, eating it instead of just cutting some privet and uh, then um, I'm going to throw it over the fence for the goats. Ordinarily, they don't see me coming. Well, sometimes they do, but uh, they uh, saw me coming today, spotted me, and so we'll be uh, we'll be putting food right over into them. If they'd not been standing here, then they would have wandered by at some point during the day, and uh, would have seen the feed out and would have started eating it but this way they get to be here when it's at its freshest
even though it's not feeding grain it still brings everybody up and uh, makes it so that I can do a head count get them all close enough to the fence that I can take a look make sure everybody looks healthy uh, everybody's tails are up nobody looks like they're having any GI issues or like they're starting to look scrawny or, or poor like they're having coat problems and see everybody's interested in eating and uh, it's just a, a good way to get some additional nutrition into them there are plenty of limbs and leaves and things for them in the pasture but uh, this privet they like it so much early on they tore it all down and ate most of it inside the uh, inside the fence there's still some places where the privet grew too tall for them to get to or they they farm it themselves and they leave some behind every year uh, to grow back on its own but uh, but uh, this is just a, a good way of keeping some good nutrition in it's uh, it's good leafy material for them good forage or browse and uh, they can enjoy it and uh, they they stay healthier this way uh, I do feed hay I do feed grain but uh, these leaves really do I think make a big difference for them uh, it's a little bit more time consuming but uh, in the end it, it it helps so that was just a brief uh, fall day here on the farm and uh, there are going to be some days where there's more work to go. Uh, I've got some clearing that I want to do in a field uh, that's grown up with some pine and scrub brush. Uh, so hopefully going to have some videos uh, showing that being uh, cleared out. Uh, but today was just a, a quick and easy feed and head count uh, because, the, like I said, the, the biggest uh, game uh, in the nation uh, is coming up in just a couple of hours. And uh, we don't want to miss that. So today, just making sure the goats are doing fine and uh, I'm getting squared away uh, to be able to see see uh, Auburn uh, hopefully uh, beat Alabama uh, this season. And uh, so if you enjoyed this little short video, uh, uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, subscribe. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting more videos out uh, on, a, on a better, uh, regular, more regular basis uh, coming up. But uh, glad you're able to watch. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, War Eagle.